Welcome everybody, Envy here with another Elden Ring video. This video we're going to be focusing on how to get to Mawin Paddis without completing Vare's questline. Because some of us actually killed off Vare on our first playthrough or we just don't really like him, so we end up killing him. So, just in case you end up doing this, this video is for you, how to get to Mawin Paddis. And to get to Mawin Paddis, we actually need to get to this consecrated snowfield which is all this area right here so i'll be leaving an exploit so you can actually jump off from here somewhere around here no somewhere right here there you go somewhere right here uh use the spring and glitch out and then come this way so that's an exploit i will be leaving it down at the description how to do that and if you don't want to do that you want to do the legit way then you need to get two medallions one medallions from castle soul here by defeating Commander Nile, you after you defeat him, you traverse through the castle more, and there's gonna be a medallion on a chest right there. So I'll be leaving another exploit for Commander Nile, how to defeat him without even actually entering the castle. So make sure to check out the description for that. And the other medallion, it's right in the beginning by Lyurnia. So it's gonna be under this. So we're gonna be traveling through this grace, and then we're gonna run under the place coming this way so I'll probably fast forward the video getting the two medallions and showing you where I actually take it so you're gonna go to this grand lift and then you're gonna get teleported here somewhere and then you finally come into this area so I'll be showing you the two medallions locations so stay tuned and future me is gonna take over and just a reminder uh, I'll be leaving timestamps down at the description, so you're always welcome to skip wherever you guys like. So I'll be doing timestamps for how to get the two medallions, uh, where to go to activate the medallion. Um, maybe on the description, I'll be showing you the exploits. And if you're already in this area, you want to know where, I'm going to be leaving a timestamp on where to go, so you could see where the location of the teleporter is for Mowen Palace. So once we actually made it to this trace here, so we're at the village of Albanarix. So we're under, as you can see, we're under the uh, Lyurnia area. So we're gonna, from the graves, we're gonna go up this way. Uh, just be careful because these enemies are a little tough. This guy right here. He tends to throw a lot of fire, so just be careful with that. And we're actually gonna go and roll into this pot, and that's gonna be the first medallion. Please, no. Dear me. So just talk to him or kill him, however you like. When you kill him, you actually get the medallion from him. Or if you just talk to him, you'll give you the medallion as well. And there we go. That's the first half of the of the helix tree. So the next one is actually going to be by Castle Soul. So future me is going to take over again. And once we actually take down Commander Nile, I actually already took him down with this character. So we're just going to run through everything and then get the medallion. So stay tuned. And there we go, Commander Nile's Grace. I actually took Commander Nile by using the exploit. So from here you just run, just keep on going forward and you're gonna come across the medallion. And you need both medallions to go to the secret area. There we go, that's both medallions. So from here we're actually just gonna go teleport back to the lift. And then once you're in the lift, make sure to put the secret medallion. So we're gonna come here and it's gonna give us uh, an option to switch. So as you can see, make to the side, hoist secret medallion. And there we go, that should take us, I'm just going to skip it, 
it's up to you guys if you want to see a cutscene for yourself in your own playthrough. So now we made it to right before the concentrated consecrated snowfield. I keep confusing that word. <laughs> So here's the grace, and that's the exit. It's not that easy, it's just, just straightforward. But there's actually a hidden boss in there. So I'll be showing you in a separate video for that. Probably down in the descriptions. And that's pretty much it. Once we're here, you just basically run through everything. Just be careful because it's, um, we could actually use Tarn here. Just be careful since you can't really see much. But you just gotta, you could, just, you're welcome to explore anywhere you like. And that's it, pretty much. So, now we're going to be fast forwarding to the location of the teleporter for Mawin Palace. And it's somewhere over here, one of these. So we're, that's where we're going to be heading right now. It's going to be a golden seed down here. So, as you can see, the teleporter is down there. The moment we hit the la the bottom, we're gonna get invaded. You're always welcome to kill him. Or... Or try to cheese him off the map. So, if you stand close to the edge of the map, you actually cheese him. You kill this guy. So he should be coming anytime soon. You can actually stand somewhere around here. There you go, right here. And he actually just jumps down. See, here he comes. And hopefully he, he just jumps down. And as you can see, he followed us. And we just took him down. <laughs> And by defeating them, it actually opens uh, the teleporter. So what we gotta do is just run back there. And that's it. That's how we get to Mawin Palace. So, future me will take over. I'm just gonna probably edit all this part out of me running over there. And I'll be right in front of the teleporter. So, see you guys in a bit. And there we go. We may actually made it back. The teleporter is open, as you can see. And this is the location. Right here. That way you guys can see where it is. So after killing the invader, the teleporter opens up. And we can actually take the teleporter. And this is the legit way to get to Mawin Palace. The rune farm place. <laughs> so from here we're actually just gonna run through the cave. And it's gonna take you guys are gonna be you're gonna recognize where we're at. Just go down the path. This way. Down here. Just drop down here. And that's it. We actually made it to Mawin Palace. That's the first grace. And this is the famous place for. Grace of Grace. This is a famous place for farming. If you have the Relic Sword, you can always farm that. Or you have a strong AoE attack. These guys give you quite a lot of ruins. Uh, if you have a bow, you can actually use it to get the bird and fall off the bridge. And there's actually multiple rune glitches here in this area. And I'll be linking those in the description as well. So, if the video was helpful, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you're always welcome to subscribe. I do daily content on basically many different games. And as always, this is Envy, signing out. 
see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.